Hey everybody, this is Will of Carolina Thrive Place. Today we are going to be discussing logos and what's important for a logo. Um, does every crafter need a logo? Not really, but if you want to do anything and quote unquote get into business, um, then definitely you need a logo. And a logo can be just something plain. Honestly, you don't have to have something super fancy. But the thing is this is if you have your logo in block text, um, like Arial, Times New Roman, and nothing else that doesn't kind of tie with what you're doing, um, then people will look at it and go, okay, what do you do? So, like, as you can see here, I have spooled a thread. And when y'all see that, y'all know that's me. That particular spool of thread right there, especially if it's blue, um, which is normally right in this corner. Um, I can't point to it because I'm recording. But in the bottom right corner, you'll see the blue little spool. And you know that's mine. Um, can someone steal it and use it? Yes. But the thing about it is this. Um, I can then go after them for trademark infringement or copyright infringement because um, that's my logo so can you go and use the Nike symbol no can you use uh, <clears throat> the FedEx logo no you can't use them the, the Walmart star can you use that no because that's their trademark that's how their customers know who they are um, a couple of weeks ago, we played What Logo Is This? And y'all kind of got it. So that's the thing is logos are very important for yourself, um, for your business more so. And it's all part of your branding thing. Um, and, you know, I have stated that I do logos. I just finished doing a logo for somebody. Um, but this is not what this video is about. The thing is, is with a logo or business name, let's talk about that for a second. A business name needs to be something that's unique, that briefly describes something that you do. Like, I'm Carolina Thread Place. Right there. So, Carolina Thread Place. What does that mean? I'm in South, I'm in a Carolina, South Carolina, North Carolina. I do stuff with thread and place is just I just put it there because <laughs> I can't say Carolina thread because then someone's like are you Carolina thread trail which is in North Carolina and no I'm not I'm a place retail shop yeah now I am in a retail shop but you can say I'm I'm the place to get thread or get thread products so there you go so my logo ex that's the, my business name is like that so <clears throat> you know Eve talked about why her name is the baby's booty great example and it's something that's good for her but at the same time she does baby products there you go um, just like FedEx FedEx has got an arrow in its name and it's always on the go it's logistics it keeps going um, so Things like that, you know, you got to keep thinking of how a logo, you know, or business name work will work for you. Um, yes, there are some businesses like Microsoft. What is Microsoft? You know, but we all know who Microsoft is because of their branding. Their logo is on anything Windows based, but their original logo had the Windows had a window with different colors but it was a window so that's how it's tied itself to um, Microsoft Windows so enough about them Apple is an Apple you see that Apple you know it's Apple um, and I can think of hundreds of other different companies and stuff and that's the thing is you know a part of their logo you know who they are so that's all part of logo and branding and this is the first video in it and today's lo or today's um, letter is the letter H.
So you got yesterday's one. Here's today. It's H. So be sure to like this video if you haven't. Please subscribe if you have not as well. Please share this with all your family and friends who are looking. And this is a good video for anybody who's going into business, not just embroiders and vinyl people. Anybody, any small business. So definitely share this video and let people know about branding and stuff. Um, if you do want to contact me about um, helping you out with a logo or business name or anything like that, definitely um, you know contact me in, I think, my emails below, in the comments below. And tomorrow is going to be websites. Um, none of these videos are going to be demonstrations. It's just going to be talking about it. Um, maybe social media will be talking about it, but these are just topics that we can discuss further in a later video, but to give you enough information to at least get started or to go search yourself a little more. So until tomorrow, I will see you later. Have a great day. Bye.